Uh, next, we'll look at some uh, essential probability questions, looking at Venn diagrams and tree diagrams, again, of use to the paper for ITCSE um, 0580 0607 uh, Cambridge papers. So here's the first question. Um, it's going to be a Venn diagram question. Uh, 39 students attend music club, 26 attend exactly two clubs, 35 attend drama club, and we've got to find the missing values in the Venn diagram. Okay, so the first thing we need to notice is, um, well, let's have a look at this one. 39 students attend music club. Well, music club is this circle here, so therefore we can find what this missing number is. Just do 39 take away 13, take away 10, take away 5. So I'll fill in this one. Um, 26 students attend exactly two clubs. Exactly two clubs. Well, where is that going to be? That's going to be this part here, because these students will be attending both uh, dance, also drama and sports. It'll be this one here, because those students will be attending sports and music. And it'll be this one here, because those students will be attending drama and music. Okay, so those are the ones that attend exactly two. Um, and because we'll already know this one, we can then work out this one, and then we kind of work back from that. Okay, so that's the idea with this one here. Um, so there we go. So we've got 39 attend music, so therefore this must be 11. And then if I know that 26 attend exactly 2, then I know that 10 plus 11 plus this number here must be equal to 26. Therefore this must be 5. And then lastly, 35 attend drama. Well, I know that 5 plus 5 plus 10 plus this number here must be 35. So I can find this number. And then lastly, I can find this number because I know that in total there must be 90 students. So therefore, this must be 8. And I add up all the other numbers as well. Okay, so I've done that one. Um, all three clubs, well, that's the bit in the middle. So there's five students that attend all three clubs. There we go, that's five. Only one club. Well, who attends only one club? This group here, so there's 15 of them, just have the drama. 13 of these just attend music. And 23 of these just attend sport. Add them together, we get 51. Okay, and then uh, it follows, we follow through the, 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 from the previous question. Um, it then says to find the number, so the N just means the number of uh, people in the intersection M. Well, there's D. And there's M. When do they intersect? Well, it's the bit in the middle. So those are the bits that intersect, which is this bit here. Therefore, the, the, the number of D in section M is 15 students. And this one looks a bit more difficult. The number of D in section M in section um, not S. Now, let's just do this one step at a time. There we go, this is D in section M, this is the bit that we worked out before. And then we're saying, when does this intersect with not S? So I'd actually shade in the bit to show me what not S is. So it's basically everything apart from the circle with S in. And then if we do it like this, we just need to say, well, intersection means when are we shading in twice? If it was union, as long as we shaded it in once, it'd be okay. But because it's intersection, we need to have shaded it in twice. Which bit, if we shaded in twice... Um, the only bit that we've shaded in twice is this little part here where there's 10, 10 students. Okay, so that's it. That's the only bit that's shaded in twice in the diagram. So the answer is 10. There we go. Um, okay, and then, it's, and then it follows on and now it becomes a tree diagram kind of question. Two of the 90 students are chosen at random without replacement. Okay, so make a note of that. I find the probability that they both attend all three clubs. So all three clubs, there's five students to begin with that attend all three clubs. So think of it like this. So the student one, the chance of them attending all three clubs would be five out of 90. And that's the first student. However, if you chose a student, then there would only be 89 students left. And there would only be four students left who actually attended all three clubs. So the, the probability that they both attend all three clubs, you're going to do this root in the tree diagram and then times by this there. So it's going to be 5 over 90 times by 4 out of 89, which is going to give you 2 out of 801 uh, once you simplify.
Okay, let's have a look at another tree diagram question. Um, Gareth is eight sweets, four orange, three lemon, one strawberry, two at random. Um, find the probability that they have different flavors. So it's not specifying it, but we're not replacing them. Um, yeah, I probably should kind of give us a bit more of a clue on that, but we're, we're assuming we, we take one out, then we take another one out, so we have two in our hand there. In effect, we've not replaced them. Um, so find the probability that the two sweets have different flavors. Okay, so let's see. So this is my little sketch. Um, we've got orange, lemon, and strawberry. It's four, eight, three, eight, one, eight. And then if I ch choose an orange, then there's only three oranges left, and there's only seven sweets left, but there's still three lemons, there's still one strawberry. If I choose a lemon first, then there's only going to be two lemons, but there's still going to be four uh, orange, and there's one strawberry, and so on. So I, I fill in my tree diagram like this. Different flavors. Well, probably the easiest way of doing this is to work out um, one takeaway, the, the flavors being the same. Okay, so if I work out the probability of orange, orange, and the probability of lemon, lemon, and actually, well, strawberry, strawberry is impossible because there's only one strawberry. So if I just work out the probability of orange, orange, and lemon, lemon, and then do one take away this probability, okay, everything else must have sweets of different flavors. I mean, I could if I wanted to work out orange, lemon, and orange, strawberry, then lemon, orange, and lemon, strawberry, and strawberry orange and strawberry lemon and add all those together. But okay, it's much easier to do it this way around. Okay, so this is orange orange, this is lemon lemon. I want this or this. That's why you add them and then take away one one take away that answer.